if you're planning a trip to come up to the St. Lawrence River to go smallmouth bass fishing, there's four primary areas to fish. Cape Vincent, Clayton, Alex Bay, and Chippewa Bay. Today I'm going to be talking about the Chippewa Bay, Alex Bay area. But if you're interested in the Clayton, Cape Vincent area, there's a video at the end that you can click on and I'll run through all of that for you. First thing I want to say is that the big fish are going to be on the lake, okay? But because of the wind, you can't always get on the lake, all right? So that's where the St. Lawrence River comes into play. It's a huge asset for local fishermen. Okay, so if that wind really picks up, or if you're on vacation with your family and you want to take your family out on a little fishing trip, that Alex Bay, Chippewa Bay area is going to be perfect for you, okay? Uh, there's three launches that I would suggest to use. The first one's the Chippewa Bay launch. That's a free launch. Um, the parking is semi-limited, okay? There is parking, but there's not a ton. Goose Bay is also a free launch. Um, that one you gotta watch if the water's real low, okay? And then, then you got the Alex Bay area, which has got a whole bunch of launches with no parking. So the only one there that I would suggest would be that Key Waden State Park launch. It's gonna cost you about 10 bucks to launch there, but there's plenty of parking. The Alex Bay area is gonna be much more commercialized than the Chippewa Bay area, okay? Um, so you take the, Saint, the current from the St. Lawrence River, add the wind, then you throw in heavy, heavy boat traffic. That main channel of Alex Bay can be really hard to fish. Now with that being said, you can catch fish right around touristy areas, okay? And you can go into little bays and fish boat docks and stuff. There are fish to be caught there, but that main channel area can almost be unfishable. Now the main way to fish the St. Lawrence in these areas is with a drop shot and a Ned rig, all right? On that main channel and on uh, deep water humps, uh, deep water points, and on current breaks behind islands. So the prime area for that is going to be that Goose Bay to Chippewa Bay area on the main channel, okay? And you're going to fish the fronts and the backs of those humps. talking about right there. shad left and right. Right in the corner of the mouth. Beautiful. So if you got forward facing sonar, okay, this is going to be an advantage to you because you're going to be able to find the humps that are holding fish. Okay, it's not a necessity. I don't have it. You can still catch fish, but it will help you. Um, if the winds get really, really heavy, you can bop into Goose Bay or Chippewa Bay. Those are both going to be good. Now, I would probably suggest Chippewa over Goose because Goose can get a little grassy. Now, Chippewa can keep you busy the whole afternoon with fishing boat docks, boat houses, and shoals. There's a lot of little shoals in there. Um, and that Canadian side 
up there by Chippewa and Goose Bay, the Canadian side of the St. Lawrence there. It's got really good structure. And they also got these nice clusters of small islands where you can really get out of the wind, okay? And the current runs right around all of these little islands and the, and the bass just love it. So you get behind an island in the current break and throw a drop shot and that works real well. Uh, if you're looking for a Canadian license, you gotta have an outdoors card first. You gotta get that first, that costs 20 bucks. And then they have uh, different types of licenses, but you can get a non-resident uh, two-day license for about 25 bucks. The primary baits up here on the St. Lawrence are always going to be drop shot, Ned Rig, Wacky Rig Cinco, a very natural looking swim bait, and then in cool water, a jerk bait's always going to work well up here. Okay, Those are always going to work, but if you're coming from out of state, or if you're on a lake here in New York that's not connected to, the, to Lake Ontario and you have a specific bait that you're real confident with on your lake, throw it. Because I can tell you right now, the fish up here see a lot of Ned Rigs and a lot of drop shots. And I've noticed that they're getting finicky with that drop shot. And it's because they see so many of them. So that's why today I've been throwing a shaky head because uh, most people will choose either uh, a Cinco or they'll choose a Ned Rig over that. It's not a common bait up here. Um, if you're not familiar with the shaky head, there's another video at the end of this that you can click on that explains everything how to fish a Cinco. Now, what you're gonna need up here is a good pair of polarized sunglasses. Um, you can sight fish here. You do not have to fish in 60 feet of water. You can fish shallow up here. And one thing I can tell you, I mean, the whole river, all the whole thing of St. Lawrence River is crazy good, okay? But I, my primary spots, my favorite spots are probably gonna be Cape Vincent and Chippewa Bay. But I can tell you right now, man, it's all good.